Hey there pranksters, welcome back to another fun and exciting holiday video and just as promised, in this video I will be showing you guys some clever ways to sneak a peek at your Christmas presents just in case you find them before December 25th. I know that some of you guys will never try these but it's still fun to know how to do these things. Well anyway guys, in my last video I also mentioned that I will be choosing a winner for a Nintendo Switch. Congratulations Justin360! You will be getting a brand new Nintendo Switch for Christmas. This giveaway was made possible by you guys and your support because we reached our like goal in a previous video. Now as far as the giveaway for this video, once we reach 20,000 likes, I will give away not one, but two PlayStation 4s to two lucky winners from the comments. And to participate, all you have to do is give this video a like and leave a cool comment below telling me what you wish to get under the tree for Christmas this year. You could end up being like one of these guys right here. They won some PS4s in the past. Again, all it takes to enter this giveaway is a like and a comment. Best of luck to all of you who enter. Now let's get this video going. Alright guys, while shopping through the dollar store, I ran into this box right here. Now at first glance, it looks like a book, right? But in reality, it is a gift box and it says on there Santa's Christmas list. So I also saw a Bible on there and some other Christmas related items. But this one caught my attention the most. Now guys, if you happen to get one of these gift boxes and your parents happen to put a whole bunch of tape on there that you just can't open it because only the top opens well not to worry guys because if you actually look at the back you can cut through the sides and actually open this side of the box and nobody will know that you've done that so let me do that for you guys right now so i'm going to take my trusty blade and i'm just going to cut right through that edge all right guys so with the blade i was able to make a few cuts and now i'm able to open this side and as you guys can tell this was being held on by glue. That's okay, we'll put it back as it was. But for now, we can work with the top, see? Or actually the bottom, because this is the top. So again, my trusty blade will come in handy for this as I'm gonna make a cutout right on the middle. I just wanna know what's in there, guys, and I can't wait till Christmas, so I'm gonna do it now. Well, there you go. All right, look at that, and it appears like I'm getting some fidget spinners. Not too crazy about those. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm gonna make the opening a bit larger. But yeah, guys, see, my fidget spinners are right there. And it looks like I'm getting two of them. It's a disappointment, but that's what you expect when you open gifts. Sometimes they're wrapped up so nice that you think you're getting something really great. But in reality, it's just a big disappointment such as this one because it's just a bunch of cheap 50 cent fidget spinners. But now I'm in trouble, right? I opened my gift. Not really guys, because all I gotta do is close this up and for that I will need some hot glue. So I'll apply some on the edges, just like this. And close it up. That's it. Good as new, nothing to see here. Nobody would have known that I've already opened up this Christmas present. Yeah, but will you be excited when you see that next? Oh no, I just ruined the surprise for myself. So nope, that's what I get for peeking before Christmas. I really love this tin gift box right here. It looks like a lunch box. It's a tiny one though. And as you guys can see on it, you got Frosty, you got a Christmas tree, and you got Santa with a reindeer. Very decorative, very appropriate for Christmas. So you guys can clearly tell that this is a Christmas box and not a lunch box. So if you were to get one of these, which you probably might for Christmas, notice that people got smart and they actually put tape on the side so we are not able to open and it doesn't rely just on the little lock right here because this, you can flick it and you might be able to open it but with the tape being there, it's not a possibility anymore. And if you were to try to peel this tape off, the residue would still be there so it would give it away. So what I like about this particular box guys is that you don't have to do anything to it because the opening to see inside is already there. All you have to do is undo one of the sides of the handle. For example, this one right here. Notice that there's some openings right there. And see, I can peek right in there. But it might be a little difficult for you. So grab your smartphone like I have right here. And obviously it's gotta have the flash on so you guys can peek in there. 
So let's see exactly what we're gonna get for Christmas. I can kind of see what's in there and I see money but how much is this bill? Oh wow, all I'm getting is a dollar bill. Well, that's disappointing. A dollar bill inside a, I think this actual box is more expensive than that dollar bill. So it seems like they're giving me the box itself for Christmas and not the actual money. I don't get it, I'm confused. But at least now you guys know that you guys can peek in there. All you have to do is undo one of the sides of the handle and peek in there because the holes are already there for you. So again, you don't have to do much. You just put this back and act surprised when Christmas time comes around. Again guys, department stores and pretty much any store out there gets creative during the holidays. Look at this gift box right here. It's round. It's supposed to resemble the shape of an ornament that would go on top of a tree. So that's pretty cool and you guys can give this out to anybody and they'll be surprised. They'll be really amazed at the fact that this is shaped as an ornament and on top it says Merry Christmas. But before Christmas comes along, we want to know what's in there because look at this. I shake it and it rattles. There's more than one thing in there obviously because I can feel it and I can hear it. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to turn this around upside down and I'm going to make a big cut right on the center. And I'm going to actually go off by this sticker right here, this barcode. If you do this though, try not to cut in too deep because you might damage whatever might be in there. So you definitely don't want to destroy your Christmas gift before you actually open it. All right, moment of truth. Let's pull this out. And uh, are we getting fatal? We're getting Halloween candy here, man. That was two months ago. That's my gift to you, man. Enjoy. Do uh, you think Halloween candy is still good? I mean, it's been two months. Yeah, Halloween candy does, takes a while to go bad. All right, well, there's plenty of candy in there, so... I mean, I might as well take a few pieces. It's not like they kept count, right? So, five pieces, I'll take. Still pretty full. But now, we're left with this issue, guys. There's a big old opening on the bottom, and I can't just put this back, because parents do inspect presents probably before Christmas comes along. So if you were to put this back under the tree, and they were to pick this up, they would notice that there's a big opening there. And they might actually see that there's some candy missing. We don't want that, right? So the reason why I'm showing you guys this example with this gift box is because if you notice the back, it's just a red solid color. So what we can do is grab a piece of construction paper and trace the shape of the gift box and glue it on there. That's what I'm gonna do actually, guys. Try to match the shape of the ornament. All right, looks good. I'll take the scissors and now I'm just gonna cut away. Here's the cutout. Let's see if it matches. And sure enough, it does guys. Obviously, you guys can see that on the edges, there's a little bit of blue from the side of the box. That's okay, we can cover it completely and we'll be done. The next step is to actually glue this on here. So I'll get my hot glue and I'll add some around the opening we created. All right, here goes our cutout. Lay this down, make sure it's aligned pretty well. And we are done, guys. Look at that, looks really good. Nothing to see here. If they were to inspect this, it looks like it belongs there. It looks like it hasn't been tampered with and that's what we want. We want to make everybody believe that our presents were left as they were when they got wrapped and we waited patiently for Christmas, which in reality we didn't obviously, but we did our best guys. Oh, and yeah, I got to take some candy and eat it before Christmas. Halloween candy, ew. These gift boxes right here, guys, are very common during Christmas. They didn't get as creative with it because it's just a solid color. There's no decoration to it. And as you guys can see, they used plenty of tape on there. And I can't peel off this tape to open this because it will peel off some of the color from this gift box. So I better leave the tape alone. Now, if you guys look at the bottom, I could be able to cut through this, but it might be noticeable. As far as the top, you guys can see that there's a bow there. Now that bow might come in handy actually, 
because if we were to peel it off just a little or remove the whole thing actually we can cut through the top and peek in there I myself I'm gonna go all the way around guys all right oh see I cut through it and oh man M&Ms uh should I be disappointed or not no I don't think you should M&Ms are a great gift well again these M&Ms are probably as much as what they paid for this gift box so I mean come on give me two boxes of M&Ms and you can just wrap them up and avoid buying this expensive thing but oh well another disappointment but now what I can do is put this back together and I will need for this some hot glue and here it is guys all I gotta do is add some on the edges and then I'll put the bow back and that's it guys good as new it looks like it's been like this the whole time nobody has messed with it and I can just put it back under the tree and again I'll act surprised come Christmas morning there you guys have it some clever yet sneaky ways to try to take a peek inside your Christmas gifts before December 25th hopefully you don't ruin the surprise for yourself and if you do please don't blame me remember that I do have more similar content like this one at my channel so please do stop by now at the start of this video I gave away a Nintendo Switch to a lucky subscriber and I also announced a new giveaway. Once this video gets 20,000 likes I will give away two PlayStation 4s to a couple winners from the comments. And to participate all you have to do is like and comment on this video. I really hope we reach that goal so I can give away these two PS4s to some of you guys before the end of the year. So good luck pranksters. Now that's it for me this holiday season, I hope you enjoyed my Christmas related videos and that you continue watching my new content that's coming out soon. Have a very merry Christmas and a happy new year, I'll see you guys soon.